YouTube, what is up with y'all today? The snail good fella, good fella nail, and uh, okay, was I, am I clear? Am I okay? I just wanted to make sure I had everything I needed, man, because I be wanting to do these videos, get in, get out. <clears throat> Not to rush y'all, but man, going through all them sneakers and shit. It's, uh, let me stop because, but going through all them sneakers back there, man, is crazy. Especially trying when I did my uh, mo top five most unworn shoe. Um, it was hell going like at the bottom of the collection and getting it. Now my most worn kicks obviously was easier. So this is my top five most worn kicks for 2016. I hope y'all go and look at my uh, top five most unworn kicks for 2016. And... Uh, that one, not that one so much isn't like not think about it. This isn't based off what I had picked up this year and not worn. Now I'm thinking about it. Maybe I should have did it that way, like based off like the pickups I did, like which one I least wore. I just basically well anyway. But that one, the top five most unworn is based off just in general out of my sneaker collection, the ones I least likely wear. Um, out the year so you know I know I never did it before so I guess y'all know that so you know I'm really blowing the dust off some kicks so if you haven't looked at that video go look at that one also got a triple feature for Christmas uh, dropping if you haven't seen it yet this video might drop later it might drop in the past I don't know just check the fucking weekend about to be on fire it's about to be a good fella nail sneaker marathon sneaker rotation all that stuff man so you know Get the eggnog, do what you do. I got an honorable mention as well in this video before I start my top five most worn kicks of 2016. Now these are for my pickups. So it's not like how my unworn was, like based off out of my like my whole collection of kicks that I have. That's not the most worn. So this well, that's not yeah, right, right, right. I'm just confused myself. This one is based off all the releases I picked up this year for 2016 that I wore the most. So it's not just a general thing like, oh yeah, Raptor 7s from 2012 or something. So everything I picked up from 2016 that I wore the most is in this top five. So anyway, this one is the that Nike collab. Ah, Nike collab, I'm so off. <laughs> This is that uh that van collab with with Nintendo. This is an honorable mention. Definitely comfortable. Uh, I, I'm a vent I, I'm I'm finally convinced to be like a fan of Vans. I never really hated them, but I finally pulled the trigger on them this year, and I'm so happy I did. Got two pair. Go look at my uh uh my review on this and the all white joint that's like slim fitting. And uh man, comfort is crazy. This is not your normal like canvas shoe. You know, I can see why they say this joint is built for skating. You know, you got the padding. It's definitely like stepping on a pillow. It's kind of like when you see those other like cheap knockoff like canvas shoes in like, you know, like other stores or whatever. It's like they try to mimic this guy, you know, the Vans guy to me. And the phone rings again. But anyway, um, they try to mimic the, the, the Vans uh, brand to me. But the comfort is not really there like a van shoe when a lot of these other companies do it. So, yeah, definitely uh, honorable mention to this. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Number five is this, the Jordan 1 Midnight Navy with the metallic blue, crazy, fresh, live, all that stuff, man. I love it. I couldn't stop wearing these shoes. Only thing that stopped me from wearing these shoes as much is the fact that it's all white. You know, with it being muddy and murky all out now and, and mud and snow and all that stuff, it's kind of hard to wear this stuff, but comfort is on fleek. Crazy, crazy. This is... It, it, this is not like a Nike Dunk. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, sort of kind of look like it, but a Nike Dunk doesn't have this much comfort on the insole. And I'm not a hype beast, y'all. It's the truth. Um, I still want to get the uh, the Yin Yang colorway, uh, the all black ones, preferably because I want a dark color. Um, you know, of course, I've struck out on the the bread ones, top threes, all that kind of like stuff. I probably, I, to be honest with y'all, I just really didn't even try. It's like, why? What's the point? But uh, who knows? I probably would have got I got him. I don't know. I don't know. But the Jordan One is number five, and this comfort one here is crazy. The quality is definitely up there too. But I'm not about to do a review. But that's why I wore this shoe. Quality and most of all the comfort, style, go with anything with this shoe. So. Next up is the Jordan Six. The Jordan Six Royal Blue. Um, I I, I wore these a little more. Uh, probably be just just because uh, simply just because they OG and they were broke in already. But if they if they were like DS like brand new or whatever, um, like well they just wasn't even broken in. I probably wouldn't have worn as much. But I think the simple fact that dude broke these in so good made me wear them just like just as much. The comfort is definitely there. Um, yeah, this was this was like going towards more the end of the year. I really wore this. Like in, in a lot of my uh, recent sneaker rotations, you see, you can see this shoe being worn a lot. I mean, hey man, crazy. And it's so crazy because that shoe is like two years old now, man. Time is flying. Time is flying. So yeah, the Jordan Six, Royal Blue, September Blue, Sport Blue. Next up is the. What is it? I'm trying to read my own writing, y'all. <laughs> it's the Jordan 12. Comfort, crazy. Mess around, grab the wrong Jordan 12, y'all. <laughs> but yeah I wanted to make a point like as far as like colorway because I actually got this in like late May or sometime in June like because obviously I wasn't wearing a royal blue at that time because obviously the royal blue wasn't out and of course I bought my stuff retail so try to so at like or after the release date but anyway I was I was rocking this shit hard let me stop because <laughs> I was rocking this hard in the summer definitely one of my top uh, most worn kicks classic all that stuff man i mean you know most of the mo probably most of these worn kicks probably go into like the top 10 straight up but yeah so you know like going to my straight top 10 for 2016 but this was classic clean got that full zoom air bubble or whatever the hell they got up in there i'm not really too much into the mechanics but when i stepped inside the shoe I could definitely feel a difference versus the other previous retros. Something different, something changed, and that's great because they shine with this. I can't wait till they drop the Cherry 12s. Hopefully, they come through with the same uh, quality, if not better, and uh, that same comfort crazy. Top five most worn. This is my number three, the Jordan 12 flu game. So. And that's a childhood shoe. So, uh, number two, the Puma Blaze of Glory Side Court. Now, for the sake of the video, I'm gonna just show one. Um, even though I do got all three down, but I thought I was gonna pick three up, but I, I wasn't gonna do all that. Y'all, y'all must. If you've been tuning into my channel long enough, you've seen this shoe before. 
this is my number two most worn shoe out of my whole 2016 pickups i mean it's crazy that like the comfort on this just i don't want to say it's the lifestyle kind of like appeal but it's it's like more free flowing you know what i'm saying and it fits more with like the outfits still sitting on shelves i see one on accident damn near almost every day man almost everywhere i think finish line website actually even had a few of these probably the black colorway and then macy's then people that don't even specialize in selling shoes all like that even has these shoes for sale so i don't know man i was kind of almost contemplating on doubling up on the reds or something like that or something like you know but yeah that's my number two the blaze of glory sock core bog sock core by puma and my number one most worn shoe that I just couldn't get enough of and I like the fall man and when they came with these fall colors I went crazy go look at the review on this kick this is the Puma blaze of glory street dark so um this is not the sock core the sock core actually has the the uh neoprene sock in it at the top this one obviously doesn't but the way they did the colors on this one crazy crazy i liked it man uh flames um i try to stuff it so the little mesh toe box don't get bent up um i love it man crazy I, and you know I, I actually spent this is my most expensive puma y'all like most of my pumas i get for damn near 70 percent off the regular price because you know usually a lot of people sleep on puma but this one i think was it was limited or some kind of collab um I always see the alternate version of this one available uh the the street light but the street dark one the street dark is what this is and i believe this is the best one to me the best puma one of the best pumas i've ever seen probably at least for pumas on my scale this might be number one if not number two that i've ever seen uh but crazy and again you got the peanut butter leather right there now it's not like super genuine premium but it's decent you know it's it's definitely something a head turner for the uh the fall something different you can actually wear this joint year round crazy crazy it don't matter to me man i wear my shoes for me you know and i love it man you know so whether somebody look down on my feet or not it's cool with me so yeah that is my top five most worn shoes of 2016 stay tuned for my top 10 sneakers of 2016 overall and i'm counting every pickup that i did in 2016 and we factoring them out i damn near forgot that i even picked up some certain kicks for 2016 but yeah enough of my rambling i'm on 13 minutes rate comment and subscribe i got more content on the way Go look at the Christmas specials, and this is a good fella nail marathon. Peace.